Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of McDaniel versus Lennon. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. McDaniel, you say you were tricked into having a baby by the defendant, Mr. Lennon, but once you got pregnant, he ditched you and immediately denied he fathered your baby. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Lennon, you say the plaintiff is nothing but a promiscuous gold digger and there is no way you're her son's biological father. You suggest she contact the multiple men she slept with during the window of conception and return to court with the real daddy. So, Ms. McDaniel, how did the defendant trick you into having a baby? I want to first off start and saying by he shouldn't deny my baby when my baby looked just like him. So, he was the one to plant to have me pregnant, Your Honor. He wanted a baby? Yes. Tell me. He told me that he wanted to have a child, which was biologically his, because he had two that's not his. And he's the deadest because he signed a birth certificate. You know, Your Honor, that's not true. When the simple fact is, when I met her, I met her off of a site. And from me meeting her from a site, I wanted to see what kind of person she is and see if she wanted to have a life. He but also wanted to have sex again, with me, um, Your Honor. He asked me for my number on the site that he met me off of that is correct about that, but he wanted to have a baby also. Your Honor, I had a two-year-old that child that passed in my life, and that kind of hurt. So for me trying to pick up with my life, I wanted to meet somebody that was kind of good. So when I got up with her, it was like a simple point was like, you know, I wanted to see what kind of lifestyle she was. But did you not ask But for also, sex? too, when we, had, when we had sex, we had sex when we was coming down the road. And then... Sex was the first night I met Mr. Leonard. So, wait, you all met online? We met online, yes, Your Honor. Honor. We did meet online. We met in March. Were you looking for love online, Mr. Well, Leonard? Your Honor, it's, it's, it's a lot of sites out there. And it's a lot of good ones out there, and yes, yes there's a lot of was. bad ones out there. But the also, too, when you meet a person, they tell on their own self was what, what they're about. When we had sex on the road, when I pulled over, we had sex on the road, then when we got to my house... Oh, wait a minute. I thought you meant, like, down the road, no, like, oh, God, a wild no. path. You meant literally on the road. Oh, no, no, not, not like that. When we pulled over, we had sex on the road. <laughs> Off of the road, but then when we got to my house after so we my had sex, is, sex, the first was all thing. All on his mind when he hit me up. Hold on, hold on. Let me understand this. So you were online. Yes, you are. Looking for love or looking for lust? Well, looking for love, really. So tell me the first time you all met. What what happened? Well, we, when we met online and stuff, we decided, you know, we talked and decided to get up. He hit me in my DM, asked me for my number. I gave him my number. He started texting me. So when he texted me and asked, can he we meet up, I said yes. I ain't even gonna lie. Yes, we did have sex the first time, but, but it was also, can you in also... the strength of him wanting to be my boyfriend, which I quote that's unquote my true, sugar Your Honor, daddy. That's not true at all. Your sugar daddy. My sugar daddy. Oh no. Your Honor, the Hold one... on, wait, wait, wait. What's my the age daddy. difference here? I'm What's the age difference here? 42? Yes, yes. And you 27. Okay, so 15 years. So a sugar daddy. Were you Quote looking unquote. were you looking for a sugar daddy? Me, I was looking for somebody to really be my boyfriend slash a father figure in my life. So quote, yes, that's how he became attracted to me. It's because I never had a father figure in my life, Your Honor. So correct, yes. And so what attracted you to Mr. Lennon? that I thought he was a grown-up man who can step up to the plate, any plate. And so, Mr. Lennon, what attracted you to Miss McDaniel? Well, my big first... booty and my cute smile, you might as well say. Well, y'all, at first, right. I thought she was a person that had, had a heart. Now, I want to see what's going on online. You saw her profile. Online, yes, y'all. And you said, this is the one for me. Now, I've dug I up this profile. I that was the one for me. I was just the one Look that was... at the photos we found online. This is what led you to Ms. McDaniel. So, you saw this photo of her, and you Decent said, oh, photo. I found a pretty girl. Then she's got a little pretty sundress on here. And then... Oh! Lingerie shot. <laughs> These are the photos online. And then you've got the description and the profile. Sunshine. Hello, gentlemen. 
Miss Kisses is a full figure, big, beautiful woman here looking for a generous man in North Carolina to spend time and companionship with. I'm looking for serious encounters only who don't mind some action. Disease-free, big, beautiful woman. So, Mr. Lynn, Promise Lou. there are no disappointments. So treat yourself to this big chocolate bunny. A chance... A chance to for full... Fulfill. So... Fulfill all your wishes and desires. I'm waiting to hear from you. So oh, that's what y'all doing online? Oh, no, Your Honor. I did, I did not know nothing about that profile well, right Mr. there. Leonard I did not know nothing knew, about that one. Mr. Leonard knew that it was a companionship like that. So he knew it when he hit me up in my DM that it was going to be like that. So well, I, I don't know, know why he said like his that, line Because I did not go to that profile. It. I did not go to that profile. So in your mind, Mr. Lennon, was this a relationship for you? I said to myself, well, at least let me see how she is. But <laughs> Your Honor, after her attitude, time. her attitude is the one that changed it. She has a real himself. bad, he nasty attitude. One time. He pulled his heart out to me after the time that we don't have sex multiple times. He was falling for me. Okay, were you falling for him? I could say at, at the first time, yes, I was falling for Maurice, but to the point that when I started asking Maurice for, like, help, he didn't want to help me. What do you need help with? Money. I would ask Mr. Leonard for some money to get some food because I didn't want to go to the government for food stamps. Did and you have a job? No, I didn't. So you basically wanted a man to take care of you? I basically wanted a father figure, so yes, Your Honor. You gotta get rid of that attitude first. Why are you sitting here denying my child when after I I'm told you that I got pregnant? Well, yes, you are denying him. I told her about my past or what happened and how I was hurt two times off of a I blood test. My sister and I'm not going through that mess again. What Ms. That, so you've had me. paternity issues in the past, yes, paternity Your Honor, situations. I do. Yes, and you no. say on two different occasions the child turned out not to be yours? Not After he done twice. signed the birth certificate. That's his stupid what stuff. But you signed the birth certificate. No, God, I did not sign no birth certificate. So why you tell I me did not, I did not tell you that. Yes, I did not did, tell Marty. you that I signed a birth certificate. You said that you got two kids that's not yours that you signed a birth certificate Your Honor, for. I did so not tell... your mother don't want the same thing to happen with this child. My mother do not, not want me to get hurt like I did twice before. I Being told my by... sister all about it, Your Honor. Everything. I tell my sister everything. Is this your sister here? Yes, Your Honor. I want to hear from you, ma'am. Please stand up to the podium. State your name for the court. Leticia McDaniel. Thank you for joining us, Ms. McDaniel. So, uh, Ms. McDaniel says that you. she tells you everything. Yes, she does. So, what do you know about this relationship with Mr. Lennon? Do you believe that Mr. Lennon is uh, her child's biological father? Yes, I do. Why? Um... He came and picked her up, and she stayed for about, like, two weeks. And so that automatically makes him the father? Yeah, he, I even had a conversation with Mr. Lerner. And what did he say? About he was gonna take care of her. No, Your Honor, I did not say that. He was gonna take care I did of the baby. He was her and no, the baby I did not say that. No, the only, time I met, only time I talked to your sister is when she was in the hospital, and that's when I was introduced to her. Y'all called me from the hospital, and then I you hadn't heard of her. But you did tell me they were gonna not take tell care you that, of both of them. I did not tell you that. Okay. I did not yes, tell she you did, that. Maurice. I want to understand what she believes you said. You are testifying that Mr. Lennon told you he was gonna put your sister in a three-bedroom house? Yeah, three with the baby. With, with the baby. baby. Yes, ma'am. Ah! And where were you three. when you had this conversation? Mm. I was on the phone with him. Mr. Lennon, you say so you didn't, didn't say that? that? No, Your Honor, I did not say that. Not one single bit to that woman. That's a lie. So, Cause you told me that when we was having sex with a condom, well, and then well, you asked condom, me well, that's what to I understand. Stop. When the world a condom come in because we did not have think about no condom Marty, when I pulled beside me. the road. Well, let me, we didn't have let no me condom. Tell and you, then yes after that, did. when we got to the house, it was not no condom talked about it in Vibe. Yes, anything. it was. No, if you wasn't. admit you didn't use a condom. Then why are you saying you not the father? I'm a woman, and I'm sleeping around with people, and I come to a man that got I'm... a nice big house and stuff. Oh, I'm gonna have him to take care of me. That's her frame. So you did not tell Ms. me... Ms. McDaniel, Since were there the... other men during that time? No, Your Honor. Good God Almighty. For the time I could... For the time I could How see my baby? How no, you know? Your Honor. 
So you submitted a calendar to the court, Ms. McDonald. I did, Your Honor. And what does this calendar outline? This calendar outlines the time that I spent with Mr. Lennon. Okay. You spent a week with Mr. Lennon in June. Yes. yes. In July, the doctor said you were four weeks and, and five, five days, days pregnant. pregnant. That was during the window of the time you say you were sleeping with Mr. Lennon. I was with Mr. Lennon the whole time. You were at his house? At his house. Yes. We did not have sex every Constantly day. Constantly being intimate with each other. Not every day. No, we did not have sex. Every like, day. You know, we, you know, know. we did not have sex every <laughs> single day. I took her home, and then next thing you know, probably another week or two weeks drag her on, then I go get her again. And then other than that, that was it. My cousin, she could say and tell you all what happened. Well, I'd like to hear from her. Please stand, ma'am. State your name for the court. Good afternoon. My name is Cynthia Powell. Thank you for joining us, Ms. Powell. You are Mr. Lennon's cousin? Yes, ma'am. What do you know about this situation? He goes to work every day about 4 o'clock in the morning to about maybe about 6 in the afternoon. I live across and the street, I smoke cigarettes, and I watch it her. She's telling a lie. Okay, a no, lie, I'm Ms. not lying, baby. That's a lie. Mr. McDaniels jumped in and out of vehicles all while she was at our home. And that's a lie. Then she her. called and told the boy that she was pregnant. So my thing is this. If he's the baby father, the baby will get taken care of. But if it's not, he still then let Ms. Of. McDaniels go on about her business. So it is your testimony that Ms. McDaniel... Yes, ma'am. ...was with multiple men... Dropping her ...during off. the stay yes, with ma'am. Mr. Lennon. Yes, ma'am. That's a lie. And pick her. up trucks and all. Mm. All right, thank you so much yes, for ma'am. your testimony. Yes, thank ma'am. you. Ma'am, thank you. She's lying. Hmm. The so, time that Maurice was Baby, you were there a week, and how you end up pregnant? <laughs> baby, get it right. The time that I was staying with Mr. Lennon, hmm. yeah, he would leave about 4 to 5 o'clock in the morning, Go on the return work. from back from work at 6, but mm-hmm. I never left that house, Your Honor. I stayed you in his house. Baby, you're lying. Before, you left the house. I in the house. Down the you road. left the house. The only time I left was to go across the street to ask her for a cigarette. Oh! <laughs> So she so you say you stayed in the house all day long, just all waiting day long. for him to get back. When no, I was true. out of cigarettes, mm-hmm. I went ask for a cigarette. So yes, yeah, she's sitting here lying, mm-hmm. Your Honor. Mm-hmm. My thing is, how can you bring somebody to testimony when nobody was in the bedroom when we was having sex? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm trying to pinpoint, Your Honor. Well, your sister wasn't in the bed either, and you brought her to testify right. for you. Mm-hmm. It's because right. I, so, I tell my sister yeah. everything. Well, this is my plug. <laughs> And she was there, she was there the day that I drove off in Maurice's car when he came and picked me up to the time of... And she was there across the street when you were at his home. (laughs) That's what testimony is about. We bring witnesses so they can testify to what they know. (laughs) So now, when you went to the hospital to give birth to Kimari, did you tell Mr. Lennon? Was he there? He have an excuse that I don't have no gas to come up there. Well, wait a minute. I thought you had, thought you had a sugar daddy. I don't understand he how... He is my sugar daddy. But by saying you said he don't have no gas money. <laughs> this one I'm trying to pinpoint is he had, if he have a bank account, why sh- did he have no gas money? So you thought he's just making part. up excuses not to come to the hospital? Yes, he's been making up excuses Did he ever show time. up? I told no, him I that not. I was pregnant. <laughs> no. You, you never showed up, Mr. No, Lennon. No, because the reason why that, I did that one time before. The woman had the baby. Next thing I know in time, I'm not the baby dad. So I'm told to myself, I'm not going to put myself to that, that kind of stress How you know you and hurt no baby more. Dad? So have you met Kimari yet? No, y'all, no, I have not. Never. never. No. Have you seen a picture of the baby? I've seen plenty of pictures. He yet. has right. inboxed me in a DM and asked for pictures. Then he's all on my Instagram, like all my posts I post with my baby. Why are you all up on my Instagram if you deny my child? All right. I believe I've heard enough testimony and I am ready for the results. Okay. Jerome, thank you. You're welcome. That's his baby. They he could just look, look at him. Fat cheeks and all. <laughs> Eyes ring around him. Yeah, because when the baby came, when Kimor came out, he looked just like Mr. Lena. Just, just like, like him. him. Just These like results him. were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of McDaniel versus Lennon, When it comes to one-month-old Kimari McDaniel, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Lennon, you are not the father. That's right. Like I told you. Like I told you. I told you. Mm -hmm. 
I told you. Oh. <laughs> you sure that's right, Your Honor? Yes, we're positive. Don't yeah. say that. Mm. Are you sure? Mm. Why are you supposed to Defendants can lie, plaintiffs can lie, but the DNA... Don't lie. It doesn't lie. That's right. Amen. Ms. McDaniel, I have to ask you, for Kimari's sake, do you have any idea who his biological father really is? Yeah. I believe you owe Mr. Lennon an apology, though. I apologize, Mr. Lennon. Mr. Lennon, you set yourself up for it, though. Mm -hmm. I'm not... Look, I just feel like she could have been more honest that there was at least two prospects and that she definitively knew who the second one was. That wasn't your testimony today. Mm. But you set yourself up for this. You have to date responsibly. So we, we are where we are. I'm gonna have my staff make sure they follow up with you and we will help you take that next step. All right? I wish you the very best. Court is adjourned. <laughs>